What does it cost to get married here in Las Vegas? Hello, my friends, welcome back. My name is Andrea Eppolito, and we are here today celebrating life, luxury, and above all else, love. Now, there is a lot of information and a lot of misinformation about what it costs to get married in general, but very specifically, what does it cost to get married here in Las Vegas? Now, this is one of those things that I see comments on all the time when I post one of my real wedding videos, when I post a back of the house kind of behind the scenes video, I get it on TikTok constantly. People are shocked at the amount of production that happens here in Las Vegas. And even on Instagram, I get a lot of direct messages where people are saying, what is something like this cost? And or what can I expect to spend when I come out to Las Vegas to get married? So no script, no nothing. We're just talking. I just want to give you a little bit of information today about historically what you can expect to spend, what is out there for you, and also what some of my productions cost. So if you go online and you Google what is the average price of a Las Vegas wedding? You're gonna get kind of brackets and they're gonna tell you that a Las Vegas wedding can cost anywhere from about $3,200 all the way up to like $10,000. Now, what does this actually mean? This is not a global price of your wedding. This is not the entire wedding, the reception, all of the things. This is really saying, what is it? what is the average for a chapel and a venue that I consider more to be like a, an all-inclusive wedding space that just specializes in saying, you have this package, this is what everybody gets, it's for 75 to 100 people, there's very little choice. Is it a wedding? Yes. Is it something that checks all the boxes? Yes. And in that price point, is it a great product? Is it a great value for your money? If you're trying to get photo, video, music, cater, everything in at nine to $12,000, yeah, these places are a fantastic value. But if you're on my channel, if you're somebody who likes my work, that's not what you're looking at. That's not what you're looking for. So let's move up a notch. Let's say that you are visiting from out of town or even if you're a Las Vegas local, you want to get married. You're not looking for something that is preset and packaged. You really want something where you have some choices. Now you're looking at more of what the industry across the country says is an average wedding. The average wedding is priced at around $32,500. That is throughout the United States for about 100 people. Now, the difference between a $10,000 wedding and a $32,000 wedding, $35,000 wedding, is really 100% choices. You're not just accepting this is the photographer that comes with the venue, these are the centerpieces, this is the menu. Instead, at this price point, you're really hand selecting this is the location that I want to get married in. This is one of the photographers that I like that I'm going to choose. This is my video team. This is my DJ. You're getting to pick things such as floral colors. You're getting to do some custom menu pieces. You're really starting to go from a checking the box wedding to something that has a little bit more detail. Now your next step up is going to be considered a luxury wedding. Now what is a luxury wedding? A luxury wedding industry-wide is considered anything where people are spending about $800 to $1,200 a head. Now this sounds like a lot of money, and it is. I, I'm not saying it's not a lot of money at all. It is a lot of money, especially when you compare it to the $10,000 or the $32,000. Now, when I break it down per head, that means if you're going to be having 100 guests, you're spending between about $75,000 and $100,000, $120,000. That's very easy to do on Las Vegas Boulevard. If you're getting married on the Strip, if you're looking at any of the mega resorts, any of the casinos, your food and beverage alone, the price for the menu, is going to start at around $200 plus tax, plus gratuity per person. You're also gonna have things like rentals, labor fees, 
charges for specialty cakes, upcharges on the bar. And so if you are looking to get married on Las Vegas Boulevard, I would really tell you that it's best to start with a budget. Again, if you're looking at around 100 people, I would not expect you to spend less than about sixty-five dollars to $80,000. On average, I would say you could expect to spend closer to eighty to 100000 Now that brings me to my work, what I do, what we do together, and where things are really different. What does an Andrea Eppolito wedding cost? What are my clients spending on these massive productions where we're doing new ceilings, new floors, new walls, where everything in the room is custom? Um, you know, it's, I always say the wedding is going to cost whatever it needs to cost in order to create the experience that you want to have, the thing that you want to deliver to your friends and your family. Now, that isn't really an answer, and I know that. So the reality is the entry-level price point for one of my weddings, and remember, I only do about six or seven a year, so you're one of a very small handful, a very chosen number of people to be one of, one of my chosen five or six. These weddings really do begin at around $2,500 to $3,000 per person. So that means that a 100 person wedding that I have, I would not be able to do what I do for anything less than around 200 to $250,000. Now, what does that get you? That that buys you the ability to make choices. It allows you to say, I don't like that wall. I want to cover it or this menu isn't what I want to serve my guest. It means if you don't like the carpet, you can change it. It allows you to choose between a fantastic DJ and a really spectacular band or decide that, you know what, maybe you want both. It just opens up the door for production, entertainment, lighting, upgrades. It really lets you make decisions based on what is right and not based on the number. And then, yes, I do have a, a selection of couples every year where we do spend more than $10,000 a head. And that is a completely different place. So could you spend a million dollars on a hundred people? Not everybody, not every client can do that. Not every client wants to do that. Even clients who can do it say, that's not what I'm interested in. But can every planner do it? Can every designer do it? Does every wedding professional know how to take a million dollars and deploy that and use it in a way that is really meaningful? Does everybody know how to spend money with intention so that you're not spending it just to spend it, but that you're spending it because you're telling a story, because you're telling it because you're benchmarking a moment in time because you really want to give people something that they didn't know existed before. You want to bend the world to your will. And that's more than just throwing a bunch of flowers into a room. It means a lot more than just saying, well, I'm going to carpet because I can. It's why are we carpeting? What are we carpeting? If I'm covering that wall, am I covering it with a basic black drape or am I building something that didn't exist before? Am I doing a ceiling installation because it's something I need for my Instagram? Or am I doing it because I really wanna build intimacy in the room, because I wanna bring the ceiling down, because I wanna hug the guests in a certain color? And if I do, why am I doing that? That is a skill that develops over time. That's where I'm not just an entrepreneur and I'm not just a business person, but I'm an artist because I see a world that doesn't exist for you and I look to build that only for you. This is an ephemeral, once truly once in a lifetime moment. I never do the same wedding twice. And even if I tried, it would always feel different. But if this is what we're doing, can you spend a million dollars in Las Vegas? Yes, very, very easily. Do you have to? No. And so what I would say to you, if you are trying to figure out how much money you should invest 
in a wedding is sit down with your fiance, sit down with your significant other, and decide a couple of things. Number one, how much money can you truly and legitimately afford to spend on this event? Whether it's one day, three days, a series, how much money can you afford comfortably to put into it and where is the value for you in terms of the financial commitment? Once you've done that, you can easily turn around and have a wild, over-the-top, luxurious wedding at $50,000 if you really pare down your guest list. So once you have the big global number, stop and think, how much money do I wanna spend per person? And then based on that, ruthlessly edit your guest list. Now, I'm somebody who specializes in luxury weddings. They're the only things that I do. They're the only things that I do well. I don't know how to have a conversation about anything other than the thing that I love the most. I'm also not interested in it. But what I will tell you is this. The most beautiful wedding, the one that you are gonna value above all others, the one that is gonna mean the most to you at the end of the day is a wedding where you get to marry the person that you love and a wedding that leads to a beautiful and happy and long lasting marriage. And so on that, I, oh, one more thing. A bunch of you have been like super hockey eagle eyed and noticed on social that I have been wearing these every single day and this little number. These are from Ana Luisa and they are beautiful. They are my go-to everyday wear pieces. Um, I really love circular jewelry. I mean, obviously I'm somebody who who likes the connection. I like the never ending, never beginning kind of cyclical nature of it. But these are beautiful gold pieces. They're so light, they're so easy to wear. Um, you're gonna love them. There's a link in the bio, check those out. And if you have any questions about wedding planning, what it should cost, how and where you should begin, or if you wanna just look at a sample budget, please go ahead and reach out. You can find me everywhere at Andrea Eppolito. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. I go through them every single week. This channel exists to serve you. I want it to be a place where you really enjoy coming, where you enjoy hanging out, and most importantly, where you learn. So if there's anything else that I could teach you, please let me know. Until next week, we're gonna be showing you some more of the behind the scenes of Kiana and Michael's wedding. Stay tuned for that, it's gonna be extraordinary. Thank you so much, guys. We'll talk to you again soon, bye.